Hello. So I finally made a pro version of process poofer and here it is. So once you download the zip file, you're going to have to extract all of these files into a folder. Just create a folder wherever you want. You can move the folder anywhere. It doesn't matter. And move all of the files into the folder. Once you do that, you open the folder, left click process poofer pro, then right click and run as administrator. Once you launch it, you're going to see this login form and you're going to have to log in using your email and the key you received when you purchased the product. So just join my Discord server by clicking this button or in the description, there is going to be a link or go to my website just in your search bar, the URL bar, type it's shooks.com slash discord and it's going to redirect you to my discord server just send me a message hey i want to buy process Buffer pro uh, i take payment over paypal and it's usually instant so as soon as you send it you receive your key and you can use the product so you got your email and your key so i'm just going to use this as an example connect verify and here you are so uh, for now, Process Buffer Pro can hide from Task Manager, Process Explorer, and Process Hacker. Uh, virtually, you know, it can hide virtually from any process scanner, but for now, I'm li I'm limiting it to this tree as it's a test. But if you want any other process scanner, just uh, leave a comment or send me a message, and I will add it in an update. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to start with task manager and go you know, up. So I'm just going to hide some random processes as I'm just showing how it works. Let's start with Explorer, right? So in process finder, you're simply going to type explore. You don't even have to type the full name and just click hide all. Clicking this button basically moves all of the items into the hidden processes. So let's click it, and as you can see, it immediately disappears. Now, let me add Task Manager, for example. Right. You can see Task Manager here, and you just click Hide Selected, and it pretty much disappears. Now let me hide Microsoft Edge. So, MS Edge Hide All, and as you can see, it just disappears. And if you were to remove it, right, that it's selected, it pops back up. Now let me open Process Explorer. And if I try to find a process that's hidden, so for example, explorer.exe, you can see that it doesn't exist. However, if I were to remove it from here, so delete selected, it should pop up right here. And uh, let me show you in Process Hacker. If I look for Explorer, you can see it right here. Now let me add it to the hidden list. I just click hide all. Oops, hide all. And it disappears. Okay, now that you've seen that, let me show you some other functions. So you can see this button here, which basically moves the form to the tray. And you just click here. And it's going to move it here double click to show it or you can press this button which basically hides it fully so you can't see it at all however once you hide it the only way to open it is by going to your browser you can use whatever browser you want so in the url bar you're simply going to type localhost colon 6661 and press enter as soon as you do that, the window pops up. Now I'm going to use a private window just to show you that this really works. Localhost, oops. Localhost 6661. And the window shows up. So yeah, um, that would be it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, maybe subscribe and join the server. You're going to find all the information on there. Also check description, I'm going to leave as much 
you know, details as I can. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.